Ladies and just ladies. Oh, wait a second. I forgot I'm a married man. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I should say. <laughs> For a second, I got in trouble there. I mean, just when I think I've seen everything from Pokemon vending and from Collecticons and Dallas card shows and everything in between, something else pops up and man, I, I cannot believe that people that are on top of this hobby are actually thieves and not only thieves, but they are big thieves. They are even trying to steal $20,000 uh, and ju it's just dollars, it's not even cards or slabs worth, you know, it's just straight up cash. And the hardest part to believe is that this guy actually stole $20,000 worth of cash from his own body that he was vending with. So you guys tell me, get a second guy always, you know, to go in shows and stuff like that. How can you believe anyone today? Like, how can you trust anyone today? It's just insane. Like, this guy must have, like, probably millions when it comes to it. His name is Thomas Success Wang. I don't know if I'm uh, pronouncing his last name wrong, but you will see his profile in the picture. He actually deleted his social media already, his Facebook, his Instagram, everything is gone. But this is actually insane, guys. I was trying to talk to my friend. Uh, so like for you, this, I mean, I'm pretty sure nobody knows this, but whenever I quit Pokemon for like a year and a half, uh, because my wife got pregnant, I came back and the first uh, guy that I talked to was actually Reed. And Reed is the guy that got, uh, got stolen from, who was the victim in this entire story. And it really, it's really painful, uh, not only for him, but also for me. Because like, like I said, Reed was the reason why I came back into like Pokemon and started vending again and started selling and stuff. Just because he like he was interested on the slabs that I posted. I had a few slabs that I had left uh, on the side whenever I quit. And I came back to sell those and I was looking for a percentage and he literally like was offering me a percentage but also said, hey, you might be better just selling them one by one. So that's what started my grind and get back into Pokemon again. But nonetheless, that's another story. I just wanted to give like a backup, uh, you know, a background uh, for the guy. Reed is one of the best guys I have known in this industry. It's really nice person. So go and show some love to him. Uh, if you guys want to buy something from him, he have all kind of slabs and stuff. So definitely check him out. But anyway, we're going to have to focus more on this uh, thief of a success guy. Like, I just don't understand, dude. You are literally vending across, like in the same tables with a guy, he trusts you like a brother because that's what you do whenever you are vending with somebody. And you go and as soon as he turns his back, you take the bag of cash that he has. Like that is insane. Like I couldn't believe what I was reading at one point. Like I, I, I can believe, you know, like I can imagine somebody stealing it from you but actually a vendor and not only just the vendor in the show but the vendor next to you stealing everything you you have you know like twenty thousand dollars is not a joke and without any problem at all and not saying anything even when he sees that we're going through some traumatic times you know like he's i just don't understand how much of a piece of you need to be, I mean, garbage, whatever you want to call this guy, you can have it, you know, like, it's just insane. Uh, but yeah, let's get more deep into the story. So guys, I'm going to read you what um, Reed uh, actually wrote on some of his posts on Facebook. And I'm also going to show you pictures uh, that they have from uh, security camera on the show. 
and also when he got arrested or kind of arrested from a police or probably just confronted from police because Reed in the end didn't press charges just because he didn't want to go through all the drama on top of like he had to leave uh, work and had to travel to Atlanta and stuff like that there is a lot of expenses into it but I like if it was me I would have definitely pressed charges and a lot of people are saying the same thing because this guy definitely deserves to be behind bars like I'm pr like I, I, I this is just my assumption I don't want to like uh, say anything wrong you know that can get me in trouble uh, with uh, with the law because you never know these guys can always throw the, their their purse on your face you know sue you for for your all kind of things uh, but yeah my assumption will be that this is not the first time this guy has stolen from somebody especially after being a financial advisor imagine get being a financial advisor and stealing in broad daylight like it's just insane nonetheless let me uh, let me read really quick for you guys what read uh, what read posted and I'm also gonna put it on the screen so maybe you just don't want to listen to me maybe just mute me <laughs> I will definitely appreciate if not nonetheless read is saying awareness post unfortunately people you think you can trust can stab you in the back at the end of Collecticon Atlanta, day one, Thomas Wang stole north of 20,000 cash. We were vending in the same section and everything was going smooth. The event was clearing out around 6 p.m. and everyone was packing up. Thomas and I, who I thought I could trust at that time, hmm, trust, such a big word, did a last minute deal before the event closed. The security footage shows me turning around to collect something and Thomas opens my cash bag, closes it, pushes it to the end of the table, looks fractionally around the room to see if anyone saw him and then puts it under the table very distractedly. The second I realized that bag was missing, that night I searched everywhere as fast as that is life changing money and thought someone swept it elsewhere or left it at the venue. He had more than enough time to come clean, but his crime and true colors showed. The following morning, after thinking I was at a complete loss, I called the police to file a report at the convention. They thoroughly checked security footage and saw that uh, what had happened at the end of the show. A few hours at the end of day two, I received the footage that is posted below. The cops confronted Thomas as he was dead to rise to grand theft. I had full rights to press charges and send him to jail. I decided not to do as I did not want to be attached to court dates, drive to Atlanta and did not want uh, his children's lives to be affected by his foolishness. He should be extremely grateful he is not behind bars right now and in custody. It is important to know that I did get all the money back and I'm at peace knowing that it is back in my hands as it will take a turning point in the direction I was heading. Thomas Wong is not in jail but uh, the ap appropriate action will be taken to handle this. He resides in Orlando area. We will make it clear to events, Facebook groups and f uh, physical stores that Thomas Wang should be banned per uh, permanently and blacklisted from attending, being part of any Pokemon community and business along with it. And then we have the attached uh, the attached uh, photos or pictures that you will see right now on the screen. Uh, the first one shows where they are trying to make a deal. Second one where they actually shake hands and they make the deal. The third one is uh, where he like checks on the bag or something. I'm not sure what is happening in there. But the fourth one is where he looks into the bag, sees that there is plenty of money in there takes the bag as you see on the next picture puts it under the table as you can see hides it pretty good probably puts it in his uh, inventory or some stuff trying to take it with him and then the next picture is where he get arrested or confronted by the police 
And after that, we have the profile, the Facebook profile that he actually closed. Thomas Success Wong. Man, oh man, being a success, right? A success on thieving, a success on stealing. Probably how, I mean, man, I cannot believe how this guy can, I don't know, man. Financial professional, business consultant, investor, and speaker. Guys, look at this. He's a dude. He's legit. And then it's his face. Remember this face, guys. Remember this face. If you see him anywhere close to you, stay away. Stay away. Or maybe he's going to finance you. He's going to talk you into some success, you know, like uh, give you $100 to take $20,000. But yeah, guys, this is, this is crazy. Like, I really cannot believe that this is happening. It's just insane. This makes me more than grateful for the people that I, I vent with right now, you know, because I never in a minute think that they will do something like this to me and they do, they they think the same for me you know like so it's kind of like a brotherhood at this point it's just that like man I, I just I don't know I don't know nowadays man you really need to choose your friends you really need to choose who you call a friend who you trust even those closest to you can can damage you crazy like and he even stole it like in the end of first day so on the second day how can you vent you know like i'm pretty sure reed has been devastated throughout the entire second day until he got the footage he got the news you know and on top of that you get the news and the guy that stole them is right in front of you or on the side of you and you called him a friend you know and you trusted him like how I don't know I really don't know if it was somebody else I don't know what would have happened to Thomas but I'm pretty sure not a lot of people would have handled it like Reed you know I'm pretty sure if somebody else was in that place and they saw the guy that stole $20,000 and made them go through hell for an entire day without saying anything. I, I think things would have been different. But anyway, don't forget to leave a like guys, subscribe and leave a comment too. What do you think about this whole situation? And just when I thought things couldn't get any better, here we are. <laughs> I was actually taking the pictures. I was screenshotting or downloading all the pictures that I was talking on the video. And I opened the chat of the vendors and sure as hell we have a response from Thomas Wang himself, the Mr. Success. And uh, these things, this, this makes things even better, man. Like I, I'm laughing, you know, but I I'm actually need to cry with this like, Dude, some people just don't have any like real regrets what they do. Like they are just 100% liars. Like you cannot even make these things up, man. Like how can your mind work so hard to come up with all these BS, dude? And I'm sorry for the word, you know, but holy moly. Like, dude, just, just read, just, just. Just hear me out. Just hear what he's saying, guys. <laughs> so the best part is he starts with event, Atlanta Collecticon, incident. It's an incident, okay? Misplaced bag of cash. It actually was a misplaced bag of cash, guys. He didn't steal it. He just saw a bag of cash in there, $21,000 and said, you know what? I'm just going to place this bag in a safe place in my luggage, you know, in my bag. It's a, it's safe in here, you know, like nobody can take it. Nobody can take it, at least from me, you know, because I already took it from somebody. But anyway, anyway, dear Pokemon community. Yeah, dear guys. Yeah, trust me. Yeah, I would like to start off by sincerely apologizing for my judgment and lack of proper action and no words can rectify the situation I was placed and 
my decisions. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Just forgive me. I pray to God. Like everyone says, all these thieves, dude, like some, somehow they always lack their judgments when they get caught. Anyway, let's continue. At the end of first day of vending at Collecticon, as I was wrapping up, uh, there I noticed a bag on my table he just noticed it right I looked inside and saw cash and did not know whose it was I looked around briefly and did not know where it came from like who did this bag come where did this bag come from like somebody is playing Santa Claus in here giving me $21,750 in cash <laughs> I placed it in my bag and wrapped up the day. Of course you did. <laughs> of course you did, good sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. Oh, man. And uh, at night, I, I can examine it, it to find $21,750 in cash. So he actually counted the cash, you know, like... It was just a lost cat. It was just a lost, lost bag, guys. Like, you know, like I, I had to count how much money were in there. You know, like I need to know how much money I, I, I could profit in here. <laughs> Whoo, boy, oh boy. <laughs> All right, all right. Let, let's let's not get too excited in here. In the moment, I reviewed my the options of keeping it, as there is a lot of money, <laughs> and also thought about who it could have belonged to for returning it. <laughs> so he's just accepting. He's just like, oh man, I got I got twenty two thousand dollars this for free. Yahoo! You know, whoever forgot this bag of cash. They don't need it, you know, like, come on, who needs $22,000 of cash? He needs it, you know, he's a success guy, you know. I mean, success doesn't come free, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> you cannot make this shit up, dude. You really cannot make this <laughs> Alright, the next morning I was asked if I, if I saw a loose bag by um, a few vendors in the uh, same station and stated I did not wait guys guys all these vendors all these vendors are asking do you have you seen a, a $22,000 worth of cash bag you know you never see anything like that you know you just didn't count them last night like you just said you know like you forgot, you definitely forgot. Like in the morning, you forget what you did yesterday. I mean, that's happens with me all the time. Like my wife asks me like, what did you do last night? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what even I ate last night. Anyway, let's continue. This is, this is, dude, this is cinema. This is cinema. I, oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> From then till the end of the second day. So the entire day, he didn't, think about it at all you know I did not cross my mind to discuss that I had the cash or report it properly due to many factors how busy it was lack of judgment and liability talking about the item imagine so like so he like he's saying liability to talking about the item so he must have thought about it because if you think about the liability that means that you are actually thinking about it so you can think about the liability anyway anyway Whew, man it, it's just a bag of cash guys it, it landed from santa claus it's it's already it's already christmas oh and uh, if you ask any vendor actually any vendor in any show if that if you ask them how is the second day every single one of them will say like dude it's slow as hell like nobody is busy Probably a little bit, like an hour or two whenever everyone is in there, you know, but most of the vendors actually on the second day, just go around, sorry for that, just go around, try to make some deals with other vendors. That's the whole purpose of the second day. But man, my man has success, dude. He has success. He, he's too busy, too busy to think about $22,000 of cash that he literally counted last night and somehow he find it in his table, even though I don't think it was even his table. Nonetheless, 
let's keep going. These things get even better, guys. We were just in the beginning, okay? At the end of the day during dinner, uh, as some vendors were recapping the day, it was mentioned that this one vendor took a big loss because they had lost around 22,000 in cash and a police report was filed. I realized that what I had found at my table the night before and taken was the same item. <laughs> oh boy, as soon as police, guys, as soon as police gets mentioned, you literally just, everything comes in your mind. Like, whew, you remember everything. As soon as like the wee wee police guys show up, you, you clarity, the, the clarity in your mind is insane, you know? <laughs> Oh man, I cannot believe I'm reading all this shit. It, and it was the vendor close to him. Like, how can you like... Anyway, anyway, let's continue. At this moment, I did not want to state I had this money on me that it was me who took it as everyone was transitioning to depart within minutes and we were in a very rough neighborhood. Yeah, <laughs> right? I think you came, I mean, you. I think you are right in that neighborhood, my man. Like you are right for that neighborhood. If that neighborhood is bad, I, I think you should be like the campaign of that neighborhood at this point I scheduled a ride to the bus so he even tried you know like to escape from there where I was reviewing my options to return this item to this person and within around 10 minutes of this process I wanted contacted by authorities and given the open to do so in person okay I want to be clear that yes I reviewed the options of keeping this cash as it will do a lot of <laughs> to pay of debts, provide for my family, etc. <laughs> so they didn't even try, you know, like even even now that he knows, you know, what happened and stuff like that, even now he's like, you know, I'm just keeping this cash, you know. That guy doesn't need $22,000. I need it, you know, I have success, I have a fin financial advisor, I need cash, man, it, it, my family cannot provide for itself, you know, like I need the cash from other people, oh god, oh dear lord, oh man, oh this is bad, this is bad. But I also know keeping something that is not mine, especially at the level, is not morally correct. Yes, let's talk about more, guys. Yes, please, yes. I left the tempta temptation of a large amount of cash and the excuse of packed day tiredness of the event cloud my judgment as I should have reported it immediately. Within 20 to 30 minutes of hearing the item that was lost exactly and by who I reviewed all, auction, all actions and took the necessary action to return the item to the owner in a fast and professional manner. Oh boy. So till now, nobody has mentioned whose vendor got stolen from. Right guys? Nobody will mention the vendor. They will just say this one vendor. They will never say, hey, my man, the vendor close to you, Reed, actually lost $22,000. No, nobody will. Nobody will. Everyone will say like, no, this guy, you know, like there is a guy that lost $22,000. Nobody mentions names anywhere, you know, especially in, between vendors. We don't mention names. You know, it's, it's illegal. Yes, trust me. Trust me, guys. Oh boy. I understand I'm in the wrong for holding on to something that was not mine. Even if I made it back home, I was going to schedule a return to this item. Yes, 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 my friend. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh boy. I can't, I, I'm done with this, man. And it is not morally and ethnically right to keep. Definitely, that's why you kept it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've never committed a crime in my life and genuinely care about the Pokemon community, vendors, customers, and friends I have made along the way. I wish a large sum of money was not left in my table. I wish chose better judgment and auctions during the day I held it. <laughs> Hey, sorry for getting cold, guys. 
re really sorry. Like it's morally and ethnically, ethnically bad, you know, like that I that I got caught, you know, like I know, I know what I've done. I wish I didn't get caught, you know, like $22,000 would have made quite a lot for my family and pay debt, you know, I'm in debt even though I have success in my name, you know. To the vendors who took me in and helped me, I did not generally mean any harm. I do apologize for my actions and thank you for not pressing charges. Yes, thanks for saving his ass. I'll be taking time off from TCG and reviewing steps I can do to improve as a person. Definitely, brother. Nobody will accept you anymore in TCG, that's for sure. And I hope not. I really hope not. Because, man, you really deserve to be in jail at this point. But, hey, good for you, I guess. Good for you for uh, getting in luck and not uh, not being... Uh, not Not stealing from somebody who was from Atlanta at least so they could have pressed charges but anyway it is what it is at this point I guess I'll say peace out guys again have a good one